What's up, YouTube? It's me, Andrew. Today I'm doing my full review on the all-new HP Pavilion TouchSmart 15-N013 DX laptop. All right, let's get started. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Let me go ahead and break down the specs on this laptop. This laptop features an AMD quad-core A8-5545M processor with an AMD Radeon HD 8510G for the graphics. 4 gigabytes of RAM, expandable to 8 gigabytes. 15.6 inch LED backlit high definition touchscreen display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. Multi format DVD drive, 500 gigabyte hard drive running at 5400 RPM. HP high definition webcam with noise cancellation. This laptop comes weighing in at 5.6 pounds and measures just 1 inch thick. For the operating system, we have Microsoft Windows 8, and the retail price of this laptop is $429. Next up, let's talk about the design and build quality of this new HP Pavilion laptop. This laptop features an HP imprint finish with a micro dot design in anodized silver and sparkling black finish. Overall, I've been highly satisfied with the design and build quality of this laptop considering its price range. While it may not have any fancy aluminum finishes, HP chose a simple design that is well laid out and is very nice to look at. Next up, let's take a look at the ports here on the left side of the laptop. Starting from the left, you got your AC charging port, Kensington security slot, Ethernet port, exhaust port for the fans, HDMI output, two USB 3.0 ports, and an SD card reader. Let's take a look at the right side of the laptop now. Here goes your DVD drive, USB 3.0 port, 3.5 millimeter headset port, hard drive access LED, and a power LED. For this section, let's test out the viewing angles on the 15.6 inch high definition LED backlit display. Let me go ahead and rotate the laptop to the left side. There we go. Starting to see a little bit of a glare. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and rotate to the opposite side and test it out as well. Line it up to the center. All right, let's go ahead and rotate to the right side. Starting to see some glare now. Overall, the viewing angles were pretty decent considering the price range of this laptop. Alright, let me go ahead and rotate to the center now and let's test out the viewing angles by tilting the display back. Alright, here we go. And that is all the way down right there. Alright, for this section, let's test out the boot up speed on the new HP Pavilion laptop. Alright, let's go. HP logo now. Logging in now. Still logging in, hourglass still spinning, and we're done. It's roughly around 20 to 21 seconds, which is a little faster than average considering it's only a 5400 RPM hard drive installed here. Next up, let's talk about CPU performance. The AMD A8-5545M processor has been very smooth and productive. From web browsing to light photo editing, this processor was up to the task. However, while browsing YouTube videos, this processor and GPU cannot handle YouTube content in 1080p. With that being said, once I changed content to 720p, it ran smooth without any hiccups. Next up, let's take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is a 64-bit version. For the single core score, I got 1,486. For the multi-core score, I got 3,535. Next up, let's take a look at Cinebench R15. For the CPU, I got a score of 138 CB. Next up, let's take a look at some Windows 8 experience scores. For the processor, I got a sub-score of 6.8. Memory, 5.9. Desktop graphics performance, 4.2. 3D business and gaming graphics performance 6.1 and primary hard disk 5.9. Next up, let's take a look at some performance scores from the 500 gigabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. For the sequential read speeds, we got 107.5 megabytes a second. And for the sequential write speeds, we got 101.5 megabytes a second. While these speeds are nothing to write home about, these speeds offer decent performance for the average user. In this section, let's test out the AMD Radeon HD8510 GPU using Cinebench R15. And the results are in. For the OpenGL test, we got 15.95 frames per second. With this AMD GPU, you can expect to play light duty games like FIFA 14, SimCity, and etc. But don't expect to play high intense games like Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Ghosts, for example. 
And finally, let's do one more performance test for the AMD Radeon GPU using 3D Mark 11. For the Fire Strike, I got a score of 396. For Cloudgate, I got a score of 1,953. And for Ice Storm, I got a score of 17,711. Next up, let's talk about keyboard and trackpad performance. The keyboard has been smooth and precise. I just wish it was just a tad taller and not as recessed. The trackpad has been very good as well. Two finger scrolling has been great and having a physical left and right button has made clicking more accurate. This section let's talk about speaker performance on this laptop. These speakers produce some decent sound quality and has very good mids. Overall speaker performance was good. This section let's talk about battery performance. The performance from the 4 cell lithium ion battery pack was a little less than average. On average I was able to get around 3 to 4 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 80%. This section let me show you how easy it is to remove the cover to access the RAM. Just remove the two screws and you're done. After removing the cover, now you have access to the second DIMM slot where you can add an additional 4GB of RAM for better performance. This section let's talk about the display quality and touchscreen performance. The display quality is good considering its native resolution is only 1366 by 768 Colors look vibrant and the brightness is very good. The touchscreen was working very good until today it was unresponsive. To fix the issue, I went to the HP Support Assistant and performed all the HP updates and now the touchscreen is working great again. That now brings us to the conclusion of this laptop. If you're looking for a 15 inch laptop that does not break the bank and does not sacrifice too much performance, then look no further than the all new HP Pavilion TouchSmart 15-N013DX laptop. This laptop has decent performance for the average user that just wants to browse the web, word processing, and occasionally edit some photos here and there. Only cons on this laptop was the less than average battery life and not being able to watch full 1080p HD video. Other than that, this is an excellent choice. Alright, this completes my review on the all new HP Pavilion TouchSmart 15-N013DX laptop. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Peace.